Uh, next problem, let's take a look at y equals 2x minus 1. Now what we're going to do is we're going to generate a set of ordered pairs and then we're going to graph those ordered pairs and that will give us a graph of this equation. So to generate our ordered pairs, we'll make a little table. I always make a T. The book makes a horizontal table, but you can do it any way you like. And we'll assume values for our x and find out if our x is that value, assume value, what would the y be? So I always start with 0. So here we'd have uh, 2 times 0 minus 1 is a minus 1. And we'll start, we'll, we'll assume a, uh, x equals 1. So if x equals 1, we'd have 2 times 1 minus 1. 2 times 1 is 2, minus 1 is 1. x equals 2, we'd have 2 times 2, which is 4, minus 1 is 3. Let's try some negative numbers. We'll try a negative 2. We'd have a minus 2 times 2 is a minus 4. And a minus 4 and a minus 1 is a minus 5. And we might as well do 3, a minus 3. We'd have a minus 3 times 2. That is a minus 6. And minus 6 minus 1 is a minus 4. Or minus 7, pardon me. Minus 6 minus 1 is a minus 7. Minus 6 minus 1 is a minus 7. So we can now we have generated five ordered pairs, and I'll write them for you: zero and minus one, and one and one, and two and three, and a minus two, and a minus five, and a minus three, and a minus seven. Those are the ordered pairs we generated from our equation. Now we're going to graph them. Remember, we write the x value first, a comma, and then the y value when we generate these ordered pairs. So let's graph that. I'll grab a piece of graph paper here. I'll write my ordered pairs on the graph paper just so that you can see them. We'll, we will generate a coordinate system here by drawing two axes the vertical or up and down axes, we will label y. And the horizontal axes, we'll label x. The, where they cross is going to be 0. And I think uh, um, just to make it easier to see, I will make each two units equal to one. So I'll make this one, two, and three. Two grid marks is one whole unit. So one grid mark would be a half, right? You can do this with your graphs. You can, you can change. This is called the scale, changing the scale by expanding it. So it'll make it easier for you to see on the, on the TV. Uh, um, when we go from 0 to the right on the x-axis, we're in positive, so this is a positive x. When we go from 0 to the left, we're negative, so this is a negative x on this side. When we go up above the 0 on the y, we're in a positive direction. And when we go down below 0, we're in a negative y direction. So I'll write the ordered pairs here. I'll write them over in this corner here. Well, I'll write them up on the top so that you can see them better. Uh, X and Y, remember, are our ordered pairs. So we're going to have 0 and a minus 1. And we're going to have 1 and 1. We're going to have 2 and 3. Minus 2 and a minus 5 and a minus 3 and a minus 7. And we'll plot those ordered pairs. So 
We'll find zero on the x-axis, that's right here, and on the y, a minus one. Let me finish writing my grid in here. This would be a minus two, this would be a minus three, minus four, minus six, minus seven down here. When we go above the zero, we're in positive, so we'd have one, two, three, and to the left, minus one, minus two, minus three. I can add more if I need them as I graph. So let's find the first ordered pair. X is zero, Y is a minus one. So that point is right here. X is zero, Y is a minus one. The next ordered pair, x is 1, so that's here, and y is 1, that's up here, so this is our next point. This is 1 and 1. The next one, x is 2, here's 1, 2 on the x, and y is 3, 1, 2, 3, right here. This is 2, the point 2 and 3. x equals 2, y equals 3. The next point is minus 2 and a minus 5. So we go minus 2 on the x would be over here, and a minus 5 on the y would be a minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. Oops, I skipped 5. Minus 5. I got to re re redo this axis. This should have been a minus 5, minus 6, minus 7 is going to be down here. Okay? So there's a point. There's our next point. And then the last point is a minus 3 on the x. So here's our 0. We're going minus, go to the left, 3 units. And then down seven units on the y. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right here. Let me write these in. This is a minus two, minus five, this point. And this is a minus three, minus seven. So we've plotted our points. We have a point here, a point here, a point here, a point here, and a point here. We're going to connect those points. And when we do that, we end up with a line that looks like this. So we have graphed that equation, the ordered pairs generated by that equation. The equation was y equals 2x minus 1.